Welcome back to The Edge. Video thumbnails when there's no video embedded. Google search results might start showing sponsored instead of ad terminology. And an SEO legend has passed. You're listening to News from The Edge for the week of May 23rd, 2022 here on Edge of the Web Radio. From The Edge of the Web Studios, here's what we're looking at this week. This is Edge of the Web Radio. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Aaron Sparks, uh, owner of Site Strategics, a digital marketing firm here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We do have to actually dive into kind of the pre-roll here or do some sort of user session where we can actually show some of the behind the scenes before we actually re uh, record the show because literally we just had an incredible GA4 sweat session from Morty as he was trying to figure out where the heck things are. I, I am now a GA4 ninja. <laughs> Evidently I, uh, so. Yeah. I could tell you, uh, there's stuff in there. Yeah, that you want to look at there's stuff. Good luck, fi good luck finding it. <laughs> stuff and things, and yeah, yeah, we were we were trying to track down. Wait, the best part was I spent like five minutes going around and through with you. Yep. Yeah, you know, well, that's more time than we spent in there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, in our defense, we've been plugging in all of our clients into GA4, and, and you know, everybody needs to do that, but, uh, you know, taking time to actually start customizing and learning where everything is, we've Customize got a year, like right? like one or two things. I don't know how I did it. I'm you, like, I just showed you, but yeah, I, I put that there. I'm, don't ask you what I did to get that. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> hey, you broke your website at the same time. So, I mean, yeah. you, you really, probably shouldn't do that. Hey, hey. I ain't break it. It's a Wix site. It can be broken. Damn, he's throwing down Ooh. some. There it is. All right. Well, this is the Site Strategics Digital Marketing News Desk of Edge of the Web. We're proud to have Site Strategics as the title sponsor of Edge of the Web. Our digital marketing team is excellent at results-based agile marketing. We're going to talk a little bit more about what we do for our clients on the show. But uh, thank you, Site Strategics, for continued sponsorship. And the guy that just... Threw down a gauntlet there is Morty Oberson. He's the head of SEO branding over at Wix. Morty, how are you doing, sir? Besides besides the GA4 uh, uh, ramblings there, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, things are good. Yeah. Released our brand new SEO learning hub. That's right. That's right. Good. So Wix.com uh, slash SEO slash learn. Learn some SEO. Learn some SEO. You want a scoop on that, by the way? We do. Yeah, I can. You know the best part about that thing is? So it's not, we're not using it for acquisition. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to promote the product in there. Oh, wow. We're not therefore trying to bring in traffic via like, oh, that's a good keyword. We should probably rank for it. We don't care. <laughs> I don't know any like, other. We're uh, actually, uh, check this out. <laughs> check this out. We're writing content that's going to be good for users. Oh, my Lord. Hmm. Yep. I have no idea. Check I, that out. There's no other. Uh, there isn't. Uh, what other place? I mean that for real. Where is there another place that's doing that online outside of you know like a latest Solas and her blog mm -hmm. or her SEO learning you know center right, right, right. and you know maybe some other person's blog? Where? Where else? Especially not software companies. Oh, you know, my favorite part about software <laughs> companies talking about keyword research is that it somehow always involves using their particular tool. In doing it. <laughs> How coincidental is that? So there's none of that either. No, I think you may George be. George right Wynn has very strict guidelines, by the way. He's a uh, he's a saint. Really? Yeah, he's like, no, we're cutting. This says Wix too many times in here. Cut it out. Just put a little like, you know, learn more about it here. Link. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, George is great. Love it. So also he... want to promote real quick uh, SEOjobs.com. I mentioned to Nick Leroy that I would promote that for oh, him. Oh, cool. Yeah. Tell, tell us about that it's real quick. It's a great quick. job board. God, jobs board for SEO. But they're worldwide really or just about, US or what? I think everywhere. And I'll you know, I think the idea is that they're they're putting information on there. Like they won't post jobs that ask you to do four million things and then pay you ten dollars an hour to do it. Got it. It's so, not yeah. it's not a it's not a fiver. No. Oh, very By cool. the way, if uh, you want me to promote whatever your website <laughs> out there, I just uh, get one hundred dollars. I'll promote it every week right here. Wow! Of the on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it happened real time on the show. I'm doing That's it for ninety five. Ninety five. All right, we've yeah. got a bidding uh, war now. How many seconds do you want? <laughs> we're gonna sell. Or we're gonna sell this window pane. We're gonna sell this side by side. Everything must go. It's a fire you wanna, sale. Uh, Want a link in the show notes? Let me know. I'll oh work it out. <laughs> I know I know people. <laughs> All right. Well, we know people, too. We know Barry Swartz over at Search Engine Roundtable. He <laughs> rolled through an article that we wanted to talk about. Google shows video thumbnails in SERPs without embedding 
the video on the page. Now, Crystal Carter actually posted an example. You know Crystal over there at I Wix. Do what I know the whole story behind all of this. Oh, check, like, it hey, check out what happened here. I'm like, that's crazy. That makes no sense. So she gave an example on Twitter of Google showing a video thumbnail for a snippet on her page, but that page did not actually embed a video on the page. So if you visit the specific page, there's no video for the user to click on to play. So to elaborate. That's crystalcarterseo.com, by the way. crystalcarterseo.com. Did you just get 50 bucks for that? <laughs> I got 100 bucks for that. <laughs> All right, so tell me the story. I, I, I certainly want to talk to Crystal down the way here. But this is, this is weird. This is um, an interesting change of what Google's actually doing in ascribing particular value. So obviously it's her video, right? Yeah, so she was in a video with Google's uh, Martin Split. Got it. Doing some talk about SEOs and devs. Mm -hmm. And she's like, check this out, Morty. I don't embed a video here, but Google's pulling up a video thumbnail. All right. So that's weird. How in the world is, is that being uh, uh, associated? So there. So, so no, go ahead. You I think you. I think I've got a beat on this is that obviously it's been doing a good deal of uh, image association and uh, in the SERPs itself. If it's. If Google is actually understanding the relevancy, the relevancy between two articles, and it's also digesting the content of particular videos, right? Obviously, the individuals are also identified as entities, right? It's starting to right. actually pull together mum-like connections, right? Mm. Uh, video content, potentially social content. It's going to start creating arguments of entity validation without that content ever being on the site. So your social graphics or your video content or your podcast could very well come around a particular page that's indexed. So it's actually going to be bringing forth even more value perceptibly to the consumer, but it's making judgment calls on what should actually be displayed there. How about you? Yeah, and it's either that or the video is in the OG tag. But yeah, you pick. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Son of a... Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's in the OG tag. It's in the OG tag. Oh, and there's Glenn Gabe saying, yep, it was there's actually... Glenn Gabe. Son yeah, of a... scroll down the rest of the article, Glenn Gabe's like, yeah, look, it's oh, pulling wow. from the OG tag. No, a good theory. Hey, <laughs> you know, they're still, trying to, they're still trying to figure out who killed JFK. You want to get on that one? <laughs> Uh, okay, this is the Grassy Knoll episode of Edge of the Web. <laughs> there were two entities. There were two entities. Wow. Two <laughs> Only entities. Two. <laughs> no, but that's a good theory in general. Like, I, I, I don't see at a certain point, like, Google doing things like that at some point, theoretically. Like, oh, it's already, it's already pulling together different uh, non-citable information from different sources and putting together its no, own. What's to say? Look, let's say you have a social share for, for your YouTube channel on the page. Right. Right? And then it realizes, okay, the, the title of this page and the title of one of the videos on your YouTube channel are the exact same thing. Let's sure. connect them. Like, exactly. Why not? That's what I'm saying. It could. Yeah. Yeah. It could expose the OG tag, it again. Could. <laughs> that, that... I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting. You son of a... Like, All right. I need to go down to the rest of the article. Gosh, you... <laughs> All right. All right. I, uh, you know what? You no, know, Barry's stuff, by the way, is, mm -hmm. is Barry's into, into brevity. So the fact that you didn't even read the oh, whole article you're killing one me of Barry's is a level, dude. I was going to toss it to you, but oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Barry. Sorry, Barry. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <sighs> On that note, we're going to thank you. I love this it. podcast sometimes. <laughs> how about we, I, I have an idea. How about we, how about we make the, the phone number and fax number for, you know, 1877 right. SEO Somebody for mute him. <laughs> the title sponsor of the show is Site Strategics, although they're really proud of that first article. Uh, we're pioneers in the agile <laughs> digital marketing space. Our core specialties are technical SEO, uh, core web vitals, uh, optimization, SEM, social media, conversion optimization, and all focused on results-based marketing that works as long as you read the bloody article. <laughs> If you're we read strategics. We read articles. Oh my gosh! All, the whole thing. I'm not going to be able to get through this one. All right. <laughs> if you're interested in making fun of us, uh, please feel free to call 877 SEO for whoever 877-736-4932. All right. Second article, sir. Uh, how about you go after this one? I'm sorry. Another <laughs> you article really from set Barry. Up for that. <laughs> They made his day. You know. <sighs> Google ad tests uh, replacing ad labels 
with sponsored labels. Google Ads is testing replacing the ads label on the, the advertisements on SERP label with a sponsored label again. Uh, just so you know, Google in 2010 replaced the sponsored label with an ad label until this day. So, again, a very brief article. <laughs> but are you sure? Wait, make... Make sure you scroll all the way down. Oh, my gosh. So so Brody Clark actually referenced this, an interesting test. Currently, show, Google's show, showing uh, new ad label variations on mobile. Now with the words advertisement and sponsor. This is matched with another URL plus favicon test from March. Lots of things going on here. So there's a, a good deal of communication back and forth about this. Here's a thought I had regarding this. Ads as opposed to sponsors. There is an intent. There's kind of a, a psychological perspective of ads and non-commitment to a particular subject matter of just putting an advertisement around a SERP as opposed to sponsored. Sponsored has a heck of a lot nicer feel to it when it comes down to the relationship to the content that's on the page. That entity is sponsoring this information as opposed to trying to get your money because you're looking at a particular page. That's where I wanted to go with this. What are your thoughts there, Morty? to pull up a youtube ad how do they how do they call them there but yeah i agree no, they, they, they only call them ads um i agree i always think google's kind of ahead of the game in this sort of thing mm -hmm. if they're testing out sponsored one would have to conclude that they see that people are far more skeptical about ads sure because of the current ecosystem or current way people think about it. i'm already pulling data from semrush on this i you know um Search volume around data privacy and all that kind of stuff is up like, you know, something like 200% or 100% from 2017. I think I mentioned this podcast before. Mm -hmm. I remember the exact number. I should probably look it up. Oh, yeah, it's huge. But yeah, that's huge. People are far more skeptical. And, the, and my, I told you, like, my wife, she'll come in, How, why am I getting ads about a toothbrush and whatever it is? And I never actually searched for anything like them. Well, I did, and they know our accounts are connected together, so yep. that's probably why they're targeting you. So that you'll tell me, and I'll brush my teeth. <laughs> but people are just far more skeptical about how the ecosystem works for ads. Right. I think if they're trying to test out sponsored instead of ad, that's a good indicator for you and how you talk and how what your language is and how you approach this mm -hmm. on your own site, for example. Like if you're running a conference, let's say, and you have you know, uh, yeah, we have our um, advertisers. Don't call them that. Call them sponsors. I don't know why you would call them advertisers. They call them sponsors. Anyway, it's a terrible example. But you get what I mean. If Google's seeing that maybe there's a problem with the word ad, yeah, then take that lesson and run with it for yourself. But that's 12 years uh, uh, since they changed the label. You would have expected them to have little different types of terminology testing that out all the time. And this is just starting to pop up in the U.K., right? And and uh, some U.S. regions, so they're t testing it out right now. I think that's way late in the game, to be honest with you, because... I, okay, that's fair. But when I say early in the game, it's compared to other platforms. Like, who else is running sponsored as sure, opposed sure, to sure. ads? Got it, got it. But yeah, I, I, yes, I agree. They're, they're behind the curve on that sentiment. But in terms of other platforms out there, I guess they're ahead. What does DuckDuckGo have? I don't know. No one uses it. <laughs> However, DuckDuckGo, have you heard some of the advertisements that they're rolling out on TV and on uh, satellite radio? In billboards. Oh, no. All over the place. They got rights to a police song. Every step you take, uh, we'll be watching you, but they'll be watching you. And it's catchy, and it's everywhere. Huh? They are saturating uh, the airwaves with advertisements. In fact, uh, uh, the video advertisement that we saw, it was uh, during YouTube thread that my kid was showing me, uh, and... It was right there, and the, the the guy had a Google shirt on, peering over creepily over somebody's a laptop session. Wow! And my kid understood that immediately. This is an ad for DuckDuckGo, Dad. It's like, damn, I don't know. It's so, crazy. So they must have a lot of money right now to be pushing so that. They're throwing well, a lot they of have money. Ads. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do. And they're and they're even more well hidden than Google's ads. To be honest with you, it has ad in the same blue as the as the title. So it looks like you know, like you know, like the the copyright circle thing at the end of the. Uh, of a title, sometimes you see that pop up once in a while. Yep. Yeah. That's what it kind of looks like. The only way I saw that was an ad is right above it. It says "report ad." Ooh, that's kind of kind of shady there. <laughs> I'm gonna report the ad. Uh, and it's malware. No, uh, other feedback. I just wanted to report it. <laughs> nice. Because there was a button. <laughs> 
That's a little tiny button right there. Yep. So yeah, they they may be following suit, but I think uh, there's a softer intent with communicated with sponsorship labels. And again, SERPs change all the time. The ad space is changing all the time. But these are pretty important uh, changes from a psychology of what you're really experiencing on the SERP, right? Yeah, absolutely. Also, by the way, when you like spam DuckDuckGo with these like like fake reporting of the ads, mm -hmm. the best part is they don't know it's you, right? <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, just keep on cleaning your data. Let's find out. Let's find out. I think they watch this podcast. Yeah, I, th morning, I think so they. Yeah, I think you're the game's up. You may be in trouble. <laughs> I I think the opposite. I think the game's on point. Oh Lord. Oh boy! That, that, was that a Sean Connery something or other that you were trying to do there? The game it, is a fucked. Yeah, that's some uh, celebrity <laughs> Jeopardy. And, Suck uh, it, Trebek. Yeah, yeah. Live. Saturday Night Live, <laughs> an impression of someone doing an impression of Sean Connery. There you go. See, right. All uh, right, Daryl Hammond. Right. Hey, let's uh, swing over to in. Uh, uh, shut up. Let's swing over to inlinks.net. <laughs> uh, very proud to have them as a sponsor of Edge of the Web. Did you know that entities play a major role, in, including Sean Connery, in search engine understanding and how you rank content on the web? So optimizing your content solely around keywords is a thing of the past. Now is the time to add entities into the mix and reach higher rankings by using Inlinks, an award-winning software in entity SEO. Inlinks provides you with expert level data to be able to pro uh, to be able to build your content around key concepts so that Google can actually have a better understanding of the context of your articles. Go over to edgeofthewebradio.com forward slash Inlinks, I-N-L-I-N-K-S to claim your free Inlinks account and start creating content that will outperform your competitors. All right, third article. Shifting gears, pull it down a little bit here. From Search Engine Land, Danny Goodwin wrote a fantastic piece covering uh, SEO pioneer and expert Bill Slosky passes away. He was best known for writing about Google patents. He's helped countless SEOs better understand how search works. Uh, Slosky was the director of, this, of SEO research over at Go Fish Digital, a digital marketing agency. And this company shared the news of his passing on Twitter uh, last week. I think it was Friday, I believe. We're certainly sad to hear of Bill's passing. He's been on the show a couple of times, and we had some fantastic conversations. Learned so much from Bill, and he was always so amiable and wanting to share. And uh, we here at Strategics and Edge share the same sentiments that are going on through social media right now. Such great stories and such great discussions about Bill, and, and so sad to be able to see what, what has transpired here. Uh, he really taught all of us how to actually understand what Google's doing, just the concepts of SEO, deep concepts of merit as opposed to more topical, more, more um, gamification. He was never in that space. So we here are incredibly saddened by, by the loss here. In fact, I was in communication with him just last week. So with that, we want to lift up everybody who's talking about him and sharing information. Morty, uh, you want to share any personal insights or, or thoughts about Bill? You know, I have, I've had many conversations with Bill. And I wrote on I, I wrote on Twitter is really the truth is that every time you had a conversation with him, his kindness shined through. Yep. You know, unless you're talking about LSI keywords, in which case he was all he over came you. down to you like a ton of bricks. He was Absolutely. all over you. And Absolutely. Damn well as he should have been. Um he was he was a frequent participant in SEO chat every week. Mm -hmm. And he was always willing, he was one of the few people out there who was a legend in the SEO community, they were an OG who didn't mind taking the time to chat with anybody and anybody about whatever it was about SEO. And he would come in an SEO chat every week. I'm pretty sure he learned absolutely nothing because he already knew everything. <laughs> and he would, he would come in and he would just chat with people and have conversations with people. And, you know, at the peak when he was, when he was involved, it was almost like a treat to see how Bill's here. I know we're going to have a good chat. I don't have to worry about engagement. Absolutely. Uh, SEO by the Sea, uh, he's probably best known for researching, analyzing, interpreting, writing about Google and all the search-related patents and algorithms uh, over at that site. Uh, we certainly hope that SEO by the Sea is kept up uh, in perpetuity because it's a tome of information and knowledge, understanding the puzzle that is Google software patent submissions. And he was literally kind of putting all the pieces together and demonstrating a uh, engineering mindset that... A lot of us don't have an SEO, and we should have, right? I mean, think about it. Now that he's no, no longer with us, who's going to do that? Who's going to write about Google Patent? Right. He was the only one 
on a consistent basis writing about this stuff. That's there right. is no one else. What a tremendous void. No, you're absolutely right. I didn't even think about that. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, so he covered it all, and uh, he also contributed regularly to Search Engine Land. He was a contributor from 2006 to 2008. He has one of the longest histories in, in SEO. And for everybody that maybe didn't know him or, or too late in the game, so to speak, of SEO, look at what he's been writing for the, for the years past and learn from him. This is the most important thing. you got to track down what he was writing about for, for the decades that he's been participant. You're going to learn so much to be able to power your own career. And uh, that learning will never go away. That sharing will never go away. So the SEO community is obviously just blown away by this news. But he's what was interesting here, Morty, was how he's affected so many, so many, so many people have been con con contributing. And these are not small, tepid type of responses. They're deep paragraphs of information on social media. And, and you can see how personally he touched so many people. And that was, a, what was what was amazing over the weekend, sir. Yeah, it was a, by the way, it was a shock. I mean, I, I, I spoken to him. He had a stroke a little while ago. I know right. he's having, a, you know, he had a tough time with a couple of things, but it, it didn't seem, at least when I was talking to him, like there was anything, you know, fundamentally serious like that. Mm -hmm. It was a real, I remember I was watching a baseball game. I opened up Twitter and then I saw the article from, or I opened up Facebook and I saw the article from uh, Search Engine Land. Right. Totally shocked. Yeah. Yeah. We would uh, want to recommend our, all of our listeners go and check out these articles. Um, there's a lot of information that Search Engine Land is sharing. And please follow the thread of communication inside of Twitter. Uh, and just take a pause. Okay, we're going so fast on a regular basis inside of digital marketing. We, we tend not to pull over and actually listen and pay attention. This is a moment where you should be paying attention to the entire SEO community and learn what it means to be a true contributor and, and, and sharer personality because there's so many stories and such quality of work that he's done. Take a moment out of your busy day and actually just uh, give, give due, due credit to, uh, to Bill Slosky. Uh, Corey actually posted it inside of LinkedIn. Incredible note that he had with Bill at the time. And I'll repeat the sentiment. We hope you're okay, Bill, wherever you are, man. So with that, we want to make sure that uh, you see all the articles over here. We'll have all the links uh, on the show notes. It's a, it's a very challenging moment whenever somebody departs uh, our community because it is a small community. But it also shows you what you should be doing in that as a, as a teacher and as a leader and, and a learner because that's what he was throughout his entire life. He was constantly learning what was going on in that space. All right. With that, you're going to be learning regularly with SEO Chat. So you want to jump in uh, and, and hashtag SEO Chat, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, every Thursday. Tell us who's going to be on deck here this week. You already know. There you go. Yeah, up on the screen. Moshe Maya Feet of Wix. By the way, Moshe is in charge of all the structured data at Wix. Oh, Ooh. got it. Sexy. That is, that is some He's stuff there. You guys are. Uh, hey, Moshe, Moshe's a dude. Like, you don't realize Moshe's a dude. Um, he's also like the <laughs> cutest guy on the planet. Uh, he's hosting a SEO chat about leveraging your personal brand mm -hmm. to make money, money, money. Money. Oh, my Lord. Give me a break, please. <laughs> <laughs> also, announcement on the SEO chat front because I needed a little help. Um, yep. Carolyn Lyden was the one who I joined, and she kind of stepped back. So I needed help. So Nicole Ponce from over at uh, SEMrush is going to be helping out with uh, SEO chat. Excellent. That's fantastic. So she's going to be running this particular chat. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Looking well, forward you're... to one last thing on my plate. Well, you're not handing over the reins completely, are you? No, 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 no. We're joint. Again, it was always a two-person job, and now sure. it's back to being a two-person job. Very good. Well, so I mean. Things good. are back in order. A little bit, right? Uh, yeah. As much as Morty can be back in order. In a given time, we have a we have we need to have a Morty scale, you know. It's you know it's it's like ranking, a little bit unstable. <laughs> Morty's a little bit volatile today. All right. Well, at least I read the whole article, anyway. Huh. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's it for Edge of the Web this week. Thanks so much to you, Morty. Appreciate it. Uh, never a dull yeah, moment. Sure you Usually, it's a sharp moment in the back in the in the back in front of you. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Check out the upcoming episode of Krista Seiden's Part Two. As we talk about GA4 and training inside the culture to be able to learn uh, the new space, the new paradigm there. So check that out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we roll out our video content. And from all of us, 
at Edge. Stay safe, stay well, and do not be a piece of cyber driftwood. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.